Hello, strategists and generals of the digital realm. Welcome back to Panzer Corps Gold and playing hardball. And we are in the battle for Poznan, uh, w which is actually uh, developing nastily for us without really realizing it. Um, maybe we had our our advance was was maybe too quick because uh, we can't really use much of our artillery in my opinion not as i had hoped for and suddenly they the the poles uh, have uh, mobilized a lot of uh, reinforcements around poznan but the good news is we could already cripple them a bit but i don't know what's happening with these tanks here so but we do have some advantage because we already destroyed their air force so we do have some units here these guys this is our u let's use them minus four that's these guys oh, very nice. oh that was nice very nice very nice okay and then Let's use the other planes. This one is our multi-purpose guy. He needs to destroy their artillery. Nice, good, good shot. And then the last plane is here. That's just our fighter. But they can take out two tanks. Okay, one. Everything counts now. So I'm not sure what's going to happen here. And the, the tank has five tiles to move. So this one should cost them two. But they can't get around like this. So two, four, and then they could pro possibly go there. But I think they should be blocked. And just stay here there but they could go around like this i'm thinking of the artillery which is at risk here yeah although they most likely will attack the tanks i guess although it's clear so th this is a good tank so they probably won't do it because this is just the the polish smallest tank i think tks so we should be safe i guess but they could go around like this yeah like one tile two tiles three four tiles through the forest and then they shouldn't be able to get uh, through the hills let's hope it's true so then we don't have any air support here so our infantry needs to take out these guys Oh, that was actually good shooting. That was not good shooting. But at least we didn't suffer any casualties. That's actually very good. Shooting, very nice. So we could use them there. So maybe now uh, let's, let's hope no one is sitting there. We should never drive into the darkness. So actually, so these guys, they can only march and they do have a vehicle. So they are like this, catch it, and then like this. And then as these guys are slower, they can start marching, they catch this one. Very nice. So everything under control, I guess. And then this one should still be, yeah, can't get there in time. So these guys have just been upgraded. Well, these guys then can, they have, a, no, they can only spot one range and they can't or shouldn't be able to replenish fully at least. So let's go there which is kind of a risk if someone comes up from here, but I guess they they can't go there. Also, we've got defensive artillery here. 
Yeah, so that's fine, I guess. So then these guys, let's put them there. This is also a clear area. And then maybe next turn they could also do something there. And these guys. Let's put them there. Like there. Yeah, they are mostly useless. So, but things are looking not so badly. Actually. And now... Yeah, they need to stay there. Or actually, can we actually... We can see everything here, so they can actually move one ahead already. So next turn, someone if someone shows up there, they can shoot either there or on these guys. And then they can catch on this. So now is the moment of truth. What will happen with this tank up there? Good weather. Nothing happened. They were totally on the defense, all right? So you guys drop up. Oh, you can only march anyway. So let's march there. So you guys go there, catch the airfield, you guys catch the city of Wielkopolski, these, just, these are just four guys and we should be rather safe on this side I guess, but let's see, ah oh, they've got another, yet another anti-aircraft unit. However, this time we have some more units around. So let's shoot them again. Minus two. Are they all suppressed? Yeah, well, nearly. These guys. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, they need to get back to the airfield. Okay, so then maybe we can attack them like this. Very nice. Flee, flee, flee. Very nice. And now you guys bomb them. But they destroyed them. How much experience do they have? 139 now. Okay, very nice. <coughs> so now you guys. Well, we are not seeing any more planes, so you guys can. Now you are living up to the expectations. Oh yeah, very nice. So, we can actually... Ah, oh, they can't go there, okay. They know. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, but heavy casualties. Okay. Then give them a kill shot with a recon, very nice. Now you guys go there and just in case. If they attack anybody then they will get some anti-attack. Fire. So... All right then, so these guys, well, we can't do anything here, so let's rather stay here, just in case, and the next turn we can move one field. <coughs> Actually, no, I guess we are not under threat here. Uh, they shouldn't see us, so then we can fire them at them, take them out completely, and then drive further. 
a bit slightly daring. Who knows what's going on here? But I guess they are concentrating on this area now and not on the city. On Kalish. This way we can speed things up a bit. Okay, so Air Force is good. All right, all right. Oh, actually, huh? Ah, the reconnaissance flight. Very nice. Can only go there. Well, then, <clears throat> let's start bombing. Oh, and excellent news. Excellent news, actually. Probably just march into the field. They are not wasting any prestige, any resources. Yeah, so I guess. Ah, there's no one there. Hmm. Okay, they vacated the city. Okay, well, that's it. That was a rather successful turn, I would say. All right, then, next turn. Nothing happened. Forecast is also pretty good weather. Well, okay, so I guess we will, they, they are reinforcing their positions there. Guys go there. Well, no one is there. Or did they spend all their prestige on these units? Okay, you guys. Very nice, they are suppressed. Now you guys. also follow up but well, we are not driving into the dark over there so but we do have our recon here that's very nice so you should <laughs> so he's not such such a useless guy <clears throat> let's fly there and then we can see <laughs> There we go. So, um, let's shoot them. Anybody suppressed? Three of them. Good, you guys. Now, but still, you suffer casualties. Nasty defense. Oh no, come on. Well. Nasty defense, actually. So let's go there like this, you guys. Oh, you can actually, no, you can't. Can we take them out somehow? Maybe with our fighter. Yeah. Very good. All right, then you guys. No one can drive over there. By the way, I know that uh, the recon uh, gives or provides some kind of um, accuracy bonus if it's adjacent. So that was actually a mistake. I should have driven him forward first. So this one is ours. Okay, very nice. So we can 
move up our units pretty quickly now. And they don't have any anti-air capabilities at the moment, so this is a nasty piece. Very nice. Looks like from the Napoleonic Wars. Range 2. We are not risking them, but they can't get over the river. So I was th was thinking, or I would think, that uh, our tanks could actually traverse like a small stream or something, but they can't. I think doesn't appear uh, it doesn't appear like it. Can they look like for two? Okay, then we. Not to waste any lives. Okay, that's it. Still no one to buy. Next turn. Oh, yeah. oh they hit us. To 9 or 14. Alright. So you guys. Or actually you. There. Take it. Yeah. Well, you are mostly useless now. You guys, you have two ammunition. No, just one ammo left. Okay, so then you just resupply in that city. Fortunately, they don't have money for any an air defense. Uh, Connaissance flight. Oh, very nice. Good shot. This is our U, yeah. So these guys. These guys, uh, we can ignore their the city just so we can destroy uh, these guys first. So, these guys, yeah, let's shoot them there. Then, the infantry can destroy. Defense fire, very nice. And now our tank will go. Very nice indeed. So and then they fo follow up next turn. We can start shooting. Oh, yeah, and you guys. We only have the fighter left, right? Yeah, good. And the fighter is softening up. Oh, very good shooting. So our fighter is in a very, very good, and the, he doesn't even have a hero. So he's in a very good uh, row of action. So these guys are 10, actually. Oh, and those are completely suppressed. So let's use the opportunity. Oh, wow. wow, that was excellent shooting, but really lucky. Then we don't need the tank. So these guys are there, they drive up here. Also, we don't, didn't even use 
use our anti-tank uh, gun once. All right, so that's the situation here. Yeah, that's it, I guess, for this round. Just one more tank up there, but we will not use the, uh, these, these guys anymore. So, mm -hmm. turn 10, very nice. So and now, ah, sorry, this is our U. These guys. Wearing them down. Then the artillery. Resuppressed. Ah, yeah, then, then the numbers get yellow, it appears. So let's have another. Shot. Very nice, they are fully suppressed. Now it's the time for. Oh no, come on. Why can't they go to. Oh. Yeah, that would have been nice because they uh, ignore. Th the pioneers ignore the entrenchment. And now they are not suppressed anymore. Yeah, well. <laughs> oh, yeah, very nice. We didn't have any casualties. They have the honor of taking Kunin. And that's it for this scenario, right? No enemies left. That's Blitzkrieg. Decisive victory. All right. Very nice. Let's proceed. You have successfully captured all of your objectives and you have dealt the Polish Air Force a significant blow by destroying their air control assets. Between your successes here and the efforts of the Luftwaffe, intelligence believes the Polish Air Force is nearly crippled already. An excellent start, Herr General. September 5th, 1939. Thanks largely to your efforts in crippling the Polish Air Force, our forces in the northern sector have successfully reunited East Prussia with Germany and utterly crushed the so-called Danzig Corridor. In, or in order to maintain control of this area and to continue our advance into Poland, it is vital that you secure several bridges, rail crossings and cities along the Vistula River. You should expect no resistance from the Polish Air Force, but be prepared for heavy ground resistance from newly mobilized Polish troops. Success here will open up new avenue, avenue, sorry, avenues in the drive to Warsaw, but failure could be disastrous. Good luck, Head General. All right, so we've got... Ah, oh, this is the deployment phase. All right then. So, guys, I hope you found this one interesting. Uh, I certainly liked this first uh, scenario. Uh, it was pretty cool. So the I think the key for success is uh, to concentrate fire and take out the units completely and not let them replace them because uh, buying a new unit is always more cost intensive than uh, just replacements. Yeah, which is also rather realistic because um, you know if the the whole administration and logistics behind a unit that uh, has been completely wiped out, you know, are also like uh, destroyed, basically, then it uh, needs a bigger investment to re-establish such, such structures, yeah, I guess. So, that was a very nice beginning, I liked it. I hope you did too. Pl uh, please click the like button if you uh, did, and you're very welcome to join the channel if you haven't done so already. So you never ever miss an episode again. See you next time. Bye bye.